Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at persistence of variables, so keeping the score on the lives as we move through levels. And we're also going to look at uh, cre the creation of the game over screen and how we restart the game. So currently, we have a situation where um, I've finished level one, and I'm just going to move forward into my next level, and I have a score, and I've got two lives left. However, if I move forward onto the exit and I go into the next level, you can see that it resets my lives to three and my score to zero. So what's happening there is because the room is being created again, it's resetting all the variables to the values that we have in the create object for the game. So what I need to do is the create object for the game. So what I need to do is to um, stop um, this happening. And the way I do that is by making the uh, the object persistent okay and it says the instances of this object will persist between rooms so all rooms will have the same series of values so it doesn't reset every single time I move rooms so if I click the persistent box okay and I close this down what I can do now is go on to each of my levels okay and I can remove the game object from this level because I don't need it I can remove it from level two if it's on there, which it is at the top. I don't think it's in level three, because I didn't put it on there, no. But it does need to be on level one. So as soon as the game starts, the first screen you see will be the welcome screen. That's where the um, the variables will be initialized and given their, their value. Um, and those values will be carried through into all the other rooms. So let's try and see if that has worked. So I'm gonna play the game. So I have my, my welcome screen. So I'm gonna press enter to start the game. Okay, let's collect the key and some gems before I go. Let's lose a life, just so as I can check to see that the, the losing a life thing is working as well. So I've got 250 points, I've got two lives left. Let's kill uh, a monster, ooh, a monster. Okay, there we go. So I've got now 550 points, two lives. I'm gonna go to the door and there my lives and my, my score stay the same. Okay, so we've solved the problem of the score and the lives resetting at the start of each room, which is great. So the first thing we're gonna do now is to, uh, to look at the text that's gonna appear on our game over screen. So the first thing we need to do is to actually create the room for our game over. So I'm gonna right click on my rooms. I'm gonna create a new room making sure you set the width and the height. So it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. As I said before, you don't need to use these room dimensions. That's up to you. That's just the room dimensions that I've, I've uh, created. And um, I'm gonna rename the room, obviously. I should have done that at the start, but I can rename it by doing this. And I'm just gonna call it RM underscore game over. Okay, brilliant. So let's write some text or draw some text to this screen then. So I'm gonna go into my game object. So let me close down a few of these uh, things. I don't need them all open. Okay, the welcome as well. Okay, my workspace. So I'm gonna open up my game object and I wanna draw event. And I want it to look pretty much like my welcome screen. So I've got my case statement here for the welcome. So I'm gonna copy this entire statement Okay, down to the break. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom of my text and I'm just gonna create an extra line in here. And I'm gonna paste in that case statement again. So this time, rather than a case RM welcome, I want to display, this is what's gonna be displayed when I'm in the room, RM game over. Okay. So I want to set the text to centered and I want to draw the text transferring, uh, transformed color. Same thing again, um, but this time I'm going to, I want to say game over. Okay, so I'm gonna change this text to game over. And I'm gonna change this to um, blue. Shall I change it to red? Yeah, change it to red. So I'm gonna change this to a red font to a red font here. I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm just uh, making up some colors here and I keep a bit of yellow there. I'm going to put the last one to red as well. 
and I'm going to just type in there I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want all of this I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say your score is final score is I'm going to put a colon and a space and then I'm going to put after that plus string might if I put that in the right place wouldn't it final score is plus string open a bracket and it's going to be global dot score okay and then I'm going to put another draw text statement and copy that one paste that in draw text this one's going to be at 300 and I'm going to get rid of this that's got an error there that's got an error there because I haven't closed the bracket so you can see I've got one bracket there and one bracket there so that's two brackets open one bracket closed so I've got a problem there so I need to just put another bracket on the end to solve that issue and that should now disappear which it does um, and then my final score is and then I want to get rid of this here and I'm going to put another statement in here I'm just going to put that I'm going to say press enter to re start or to try again to try again okay now I'm going to close that speech mark and close the bracket and hopefully there we go all of my uh, my uh, errors have now disappeared and uh, just to keep that consistent I'm going to tab that in so as it looks the same uh, and of course I've got uh, my changing my my alignment of my my font back to left and my break statement um, before um, I finish the so, so as the, the case statement is finished okay without that break statement it would be in that constant case statement so it's important that you use those break commands okay so let's have a look then at what happens uh, when we press enter while in game because there's an issue around this so let's click the run button so we're going to run the game so when I press enter okay it starts the game that's fine so I can play my game okay collect my my, uh, my gems and do some lives however if I press enter whilst I'm in game it starts the game again okay because it's telling the game to restart the level in the code so what we need what I mean let's just demonstrate what I mean by that what I mean by that is if I look at the step event whenever I press enter okay so it's going to check to see uh, where uh, when I press enter and when I do press enter it's going to start level one so I, we wrote that statement in the last video just to enable us to test the um, pressing the enter button and that it worked properly so what we need to do really is to check what room we're in and when we press enter in a certain room to take us to a certain room okay so for example when we're in the welcome screen and we press enter we want to go to level one when we're in the um, the game over screen and we press enter we want it to take us again to level one okay so it's important that uh, we write a case statement a switch room statement with case statements to um, identify what happens when enter is pressed in different rooms so inside this if statement we're going to select a um, we're going to put another statement which is going to be a switch room statement so we're going to put in here switch room switch room 
not with a capital S because it doesn't like capital letters. Okay, and then we come to the next line, and then we're going to open up another set of curly brackets, and then we're going to do some case statements. Okay, so we can do case. So if we are in um, rm underscore welcome, okay, we want to do the following. Okay, we want to go to room level one, and then we want to stop the case statement. So break. Oh. Break. If we are in case rm underscore level one, no, if we're in case rm, sorry, underscore um, game over. We want to do the following. We want to game underscore restart. Okay, and the game restart restarts the whole game from the start. We want to break. Okay, so that's what happens if we press. So if we press enter in the welcome room, it takes us to level one. If we um, we press enter on the game over screen, then it will take us. Uh, it'll restart the game. Um, there's an error there because I haven't used the open and close brackets. Okay, um, that will uh, start the game for us, and I need to finish the switch, the um, close the curly brackets for the uh, for the case statement like that. Okay, so I've got one, two curly brackets open, one, two curly brackets closed. All right, so that then will uh, take us to the right room, depending on uh, where we are when we press enter. Okay, the final thing we have to do for this part of the of the tutorial is to um, to check if um, our lives have uh, have reached zero, and if they have, we need to switch rooms. So um, we're going to do another switch room statement. So it's going to be switch room. Okay, and we need to check in each room if our lives count is below or zero or below okay so um, we need to do a case statement for each of the rooms so we're going to start the case statement with the switch rooms and we're going to open up a uh, curly bracket and then we're going to start our first case statement so case if we're in room one or level one we're going to do the following if If the value of global dot lives okay is less than or equal to zero, okay, we do less than or equal to because if you if you hit by uh, two monsters at the same time, that could potentially take two lives off you, and if you did a zero, okay, it might miss um, the count of zero. So it's always better to, to just to be safe than sorry and do less than or equal to zero. Um, so it's going to do a test to see if our number of lives is less than or equal to zero. And if it is less than or equal to zero, curly brackets. Let's just tab across to do the curly brackets. No, we won't. Curly brackets. Um, we are going to room go to underscore go to. And we're going to go to the um, rm underscore game over. Okay, so if uh, we're in level one and the global dot lives value is less than or equal to zero, we're going to go to the game over room. Okay, so we're going to stop that there, and then we're going to put a break command underneath. Okay, now. I use the same test for room three, or for level two, and for level three. So I'm going to copy all of that, and I'm going to do the following. I'm going to do another test, another case test there, to make sure that if I'm in level two, that happens. I'm going to go to the same um, same place. I'm going to go to the game over room, and finally, 
in the third room in the third level if my uh, score my my lives are less than or equal to zero it's going to take me to the uh, the game room again uh, the uh, game over room again don't forget I need to close my final um, case statement with a square the curly bracket to um, stop the switch room statement okay so should we give it a go so let's have a look then so we're going to play the game I'm going to press enter to start the game okay so I've got my scoring system working okay I've got my uh, live system working so it's keeping a check now so I've lost a life there okay let's go on to level two okay so that's all working so it's kept my score of lives I've got lives one let's wait for the monster to come down and hit me again and hopefully it takes me to my final score okay my game over and then I'm gonna press enter to try again it takes me back to my um, my game screen my welcome screen so that is uh, all you need to know on how to um, arrive at a game over screen on uh, on lives um, in the next video we'll look at the game win screen um, and there's one collision event that we haven't dealt with yet which is the the hat because at the moment we have no way of testing whether or not um, our um, player character has collected the hat in the third level so in the third level we've got a hat over here so we need to to, to, uh, to create a collision event for that um, but we'll deal with that in the next video so in the next video win game uh, win screen and um, the uh, collision event for the hat so i look forward to seeing you in the next lesson